Here are some examples of the calculation of the center of mass for systems of objects. As a reminder, the center of mass for a system of objects is calculated as their mass weighted average position. Center of mass is a vector and has units of length. Here are the steps you should take to calculate center of mass or related variables. Read the problem, draw the picture, calculate the coordinates, solve for the unknown, plug in, and check your solution. In this first example, we will calculate the center of mass of a system of four point masses. Start by reading the problem. For center of mass, you will need information about the masses and their positions. Always notate what is being asked for. Even if the diagram is given to you, you should still redraw it with a sensible coordinate system. At this point, you will also want to recalculate any relevant angles relative to that coordinate system. Set up the table for all of the masses and their coordinates. Some of the coordinates will need to be calculated, especially if they were originally given in polar coordinates. Set up the equations for center of mass and solve for the unknowns. In this case, the unknowns are the coordinates for the center of mass, so we can proceed to plugging in. Note that masses with zero coordinates still need to be accounted for in the denominator. Plug into your calculator and record the results first in Cartesian coordinates and then convert that back to polar coordinates. Make sure to check the quadrant for the angle. Finally, go back to the original picture 
and plot your answer. Check that the center of mass is within the extremities of the system and weight towards the greater mass concentrations. This second example will demonstrate center of mass calculation for a system of extended objects. In this example, the system consists of a cone placed on top of a cylinder with two thin rods extending from the bottom. Read the problem for information on the masses and their dimensions. For extended objects, pay attention both to their position and their dimensions, and if necessary, their orientation. Notate what is being asked for. Remember that the main use of center of mass is that you can treat an object as a point mass located at that coordinate. For symmetric objects, the center of mass is always on the axis of symmetry. For example, for the cylinder, its center of mass is going to be halfway through its height at the center of the base. For the thin rods, their center of mass will be halfway through their length. For a uniform density cone, its center of mass will be one quarter of the height above its base. We will set up our coordinate system through sensible axes of symmetry. We will place our origin at the bottom of the base of the cylinder. Next, we will fill out our table of masses and their coordinates. Double check with your picture that you have added together the relevant coordinates where necessary. Declare the equations for center of mass, solve for the unknown, and plug in. Having set up an easy coordinate system, we can simplify the calculations back to polar coordinates. Return to the original picture and plot the solution 
to be able to check that it is sensible. 